Hello, welcome to SharePoint Journey. This is Devendra Viligangla. In this lesson, you will learn how to use Napa Office 365 development tool for developing SharePoint apps in Office 365. So in this session, you will also learn how to install Napa in your Office 365 developer site and what are the various sections available in Napa development console and how you are going to manage different projects using Napa. So let's open your SharePoint site. This is my SharePoint site and let's see how we could add the Napa development tool to the a developer site collection. Okay, go to site contents and click add an app. So from here click on SharePoint store. So this will list all the available apps which are in SharePoint store and you can click on uh, Napa Office 365 development tools from here. Okay, so it will give an option to add it. So click on add it. It's a free app. Okay, and once you click on add it, this will ask you to trust it because it requires full control of the site collection and also it's accessing some basic information of the users. So click on trust it. So once you trust it, this app will be added to your site. So you could see here the app of the Research development tools got added now. Okay, so let's click on that tool. It will be redirected to the uh, console where you could create a project. Okay. So now you can see here I can add a new project from here okay so just click on add new project and it will ask you what kind of app do you want to build by default app for SharePoint is selected and enter the project name as hello SharePoint app okay and click on create to create the project so once you click on create it will create a project with the project name called hello SharePoint app and here on the left side you have a various options so in the explore you could explore what are the components which are available in the project okay and what the main file is here is app.js where all the client side logic has been implemented so by default it will get the current logged in username okay that is what this basic code does okay get current user and you could see here there are other op options like search you could search with what is available in the current solution and this is the properties of the project so you can specify what is the title name icon what should be the start page and for the client web part what is the page and you can set the permissions for the content for the services for the social section and different things and you could even set the remote endpoints for this app and one more option is run project which will actually install this app to office 65 site and if you want to delete that you could re just retract the app the next one is if you have visual studio installed on your local you could open this app in the visual studio and this one is share project option where you could share your project with others and the last one is the publish option where uh, you could just create the app package and push it to app catalog so we will see these options at the later point of time okay now uh, i'll just use the default one where which, which will display the current user logged in name and i'm going to just run this project to deploy it so once you click on run this project it's first uploading your project which is being packaged and installed to the SharePoint server now it's installing okay let's monitor the taskbar now it's already installed now it's opening the app by default so you could see here the pro app has been installed successfully and you could see that hello Devendra Viliganda message has been displayed okay so this is the a basic app which you could de 
develop using a NAPA tool okay thank you for watching this session for more videos please check sharepointjourney.com